Welcome to the Pastimes Digital Media Production Curriculum. In this lesson we are going to take a quick look at the importance of having a good idea for your oral history project before you begin recording your oral history project on your smartphone. When we make a video, having a good idea is key. We can have the best actors, the best video equipment, good recording and editing, etc. But if the creative idea is not good, then the project will fail. It is the same story when you are planning your oral history video project. This is why it is very important to have a clear idea of what you want your oral history project to present. It is the first step in making sure you produce a good quality video project. When choosing the idea we have to take many things into account. The next few slides will present you with some important tips for choosing your idea. The first thing we must do before choosing an idea is to answer the following questions. What do we want to show? What are we going to show it for? Who are we going to show it to? And finally, how are we going to show it? Once we have answered these simple questions, it will be easier to choose our idea. When choosing a good idea for your oral history project, you have to keep in mind those who your audience will be. We must be able to transmit correctly our message or creative idea, so we must know the viewer very well in order to express ourselves and what language to use. It is essential that before recording the videos you can plan your project effectively, since it is not recommended to record the videos without having a clear strategy of what is going to be recorded. Filming a video is relatively simple, but will not help you if you do not know what you want to achieve or do with it. So that the result of the video interview is good, and in keeping with what you had in mind, it is important to have a clear idea of what you want your interview to achieve. To help you to plan this, you should conduct some research into local histories and make contact with people who are there at that time and may be willing to share their stories. Once you've identified your narrator, the next step is to conduct further research so that you can ask appropriate and talk-provoking questions. Once you have your questions outlined, it is time for you to write a short introductory script for your interview, although this may need to be changed once you see what footage you have gotten from the interview process. The short script and interview questions will not only help you to develop the video, it also helps you to know what you need to record a video. Having this clear, you can record the video with a better quality. Congratulations, you have completed this short video which will help you to be clear about your idea for recording an oral history video project. For more lessons, please log on to the project website at pastimes.eu.